Many people across America feel the calling to make a meaningful contribution to the community. They are looking for ways to give something back to those who they depend upon daily to protect our lives, our property, and our safety. There is one grassroots program that offers citizens of all ages and abilities the opportunity to make a difference while working alongside and in support of America's bravest heroes, Fire Corps. What exactly is Fire Corps? It's a national program that is part of the Department of Homeland Security, specifically operating under the guidance of Citizen Corps to build non-operational volunteer support for our nation's fire and emergency service workers. Since 9-11, our world has changed drastically. And because of organizations like the Fire Corps, uh, we have a greater ability to be prepared for whatever may happen. In our case, through our Hurricanes Isabel and Tropical Storm Gaston, we saw damage that we're not used to in this part of the country. And, uh, and we learned that the, the operational volunteers aren't enough, to, that you need to involve your whole community in that kind of event. Fire Corps citizen advocates all across this nation are assisting their fire and emergency service departments for many different reasons. I feel that volunteering is a very important part of what everyone should do. Uh, because it is helping your community. You, you look around and you, you take pride in your community. This is a way you can give back. The reason I got involved in Fire Corps is because I survived a fire maybe two years ago, and that's how I ended up in Clarksville, Arkansas. And they started the Fire Corps program. I thought, well, this is where I'm supposed to be. I got involved because I want to be a firefighter one day. Uh, it kind of it gets me exposed to different fire aspects. It gets me in the field. It lets me know what I'm getting myself into, basically. And I've loved it ever since. I think that what the firefighters give is so important. They put their lives on the line every time they step on that truck and go on a call. And I think the, it's so important that we are there for them. And when it's all said and done, our best resource is our fellow man. So if we can't help each other, then uh, we're in a world of hurt. So who is eligible to join Fire Corps? If you may be worried about physical limitations that you may have, don't worry about that. Everybody is welcome to be a part of Fire Corps. There is always a role for someone who wants to serve. So the individuals that are out there that feel like uh, they don't have anything because of their skill level, because of their physical level, that they do not have something to offer to the fire department through a volunteer Fire Corps program, I will tell them they're absolutely wrong. And if your involvement requires any special training, that will be provided to you by your local Fire Corps program. Well, when I first got involved, I was kind of nervous because Fire Corps kind of sounds like you have to, you know, have some kind of fire training. You don't have to worry about having training before you get here. We have monthly trainings with a couple of the program. Um, there's an extensive training with the connector program when you start. And so it's just, you feel really safe being a, a volunteer with the Mesa Fire Department because you're completely trained. We were taught how to, to talk to people or the things that we're teaching, we have to know ourselves, and so that's the kind of training that we had, just learning about all those things and learning how to relay that information. Fire Corps' role is to provide non-operational support in hundreds of ways that allow the professionals to focus more effectively on their primary job of saving lives and property. Fire departments and EMS agencies are just bogged down with paperwork, so that might be something that a citizen advocate can help with. Also, maintenance on the trucks, developing web pages. There might be somebody in your community that has the ability to do that. And grant writing. Everybody could use a nice, uh, good grant writer to help them in their department. I'm currently the treasurer for my second term. Um, and you know, along with that comes all of the fundraising activities, the uh, parades, the Santa runs of the community involvement. Started doing the CRT program, Community Response Team, which is going into homes after someone has lost a loved one and helping them. You know, whether it's uh, a local CPA who can serve as treasurer or uh, as the auditor on an annual basis, or if it's a, a, a carpenter who can help with some of the building maintenance. The fire crews can only do so much, and then after they leave a call, sometimes the, the resident is left there and 
doesn't know what to do. That's when our fire corps members step in and provide the next level of service. Which means looking at immediate needs like are there any medications, do they have any physical, emotional, looking at that and then helping them connect with the long-term resources like the American Red Cross. Well, we helped with Kids Fest, which we reached maybe 800 children that day and plus 200 adults, so that was a lot of people. And uh, we gave many, many different presentations that day. There's two different parades. One was the safety awareness parade, and uh, we had a, we have a fire mascot, which is Sparky, a big Sparky dog. And I actually, I got the chance to um, be Sparky and ride in the parade. Fire Corps members contribute to others, they get a great sense of pride. They are able to support their local firefighters and EMS personnel who truly appreciate their contributions. We moved out to uh, Mesa in 1994 and I became one person in a sea of 350,000 strangers. I was no longer connected to the community. Uh, the Fire Corps did that for me. When I joined, I got to work with the citizens again, and uh, that filled that part of my life. They thank us all the time. They tell us that you know they couldn't do half of the things that they do without us. And it honestly just feels really good to have that kind of feedback from everybody. I get calls and letters on a regular basis from our not only from our crews in the field, but from our office staff. Uh, very, very thankful for the support and the hours that our volunteers give. They truly appreciate them taking time out of their busy lives to support our organization. They truly see the benefits. They integrate into our system excellent. It's a great partnership. Uh, we, we all appreciate them on a daily basis. For anyone who feels the calling to serve others and give back to this great nation, Fire Corps offers a very flexible and rewarding opportunity. You know, often people are hesitant about volunteering in their community because they're fearful of the time commitment that it's going to take. You have the ability to choose which events your schedule allows you to participate and understand that an hour a week, a day a month, every bit of that helps us meet the need. You get a lot of satisfaction from um, just making that initial step and joining Fire Corps. I know that like when you first get the t-shirt and everything, you feel like, wow, I'm really a part of this group and I get to do a lot of the things that they're doing. They will be on the inside of an emergency services organization, assisting us with supporting these operations, which are critical to public safety. Any one person can, by doing the smallest thing, can help save someone's life and make the largest impact on someone's life. If they've ever wanted to make a difference in their community or even just someone else's life, this is the way to go because it's effort free to join and you have so many opportunities to help your community and yourself or along with other people. Cuando me voy a la casa, cuando se termina el día, me siento muy bien que le ayude a alguien. 